Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Envy. I'm here with today's Smartphone News, Thursday, September 22nd, 2011. This just in. First up, filed under it's about fucking time, doesn't really cover it. Yesterday, AT&T finally confirmed the arrival date of their Galaxy S2 variant, along with pricing. The launch is expected to happen October 2nd, and the price of the new Galaxy S2 will be the usual $199.99 with a new two-year commitment. AT&T's Galaxy S2 offers a 4.3-inch Super AMOLED Plus display, 1.2 gigahertz Exynos dual-core processor, 1 gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, Wi-Fi 802.11, ABGNN, Bluetooth version 3.0 with support for high-speed data transfer, 8 megapixel camera, 1080p HD video capture, 2 megapixel front-facing camera, and a host of other goodies. Based on those specs, I'd have to say that Galaxy S2 is still the hottest phone on the planet. Next up, file under, it looks like the iPhone 5 may be dead for now. Which Partners analyst Brian Blair in a letter to investors yesterday indicated he thinks the iPhone 5 may be aborted for now in favor of an upgrade to the iPhone 4. The next-gen iPhone is expected to offer iOS 5, a dual-core processor, a megapixel camera, and according to Mr. Blair, a very slim chance at a larger four-inch display. Mr. Blair went on to write, we believe the casing will be largely similar to the iPhone 4 with some particular modifications to the antenna. We don't expect a second dramatically different iPhone to accompany this, as we don't think Apple needs to have three models in the market to address the high-end, mid-tier, and low-end price, since the iPhone 4 with memory lower to 8GB will drop to $99 and effectively attack those markets. So iPhone fans, what do you think? Are you disappointed with the rumored death of the iPhone 5 for now, or are you just glad there's a potential update for the iPhone 4? Come October 4th, when Tim Cook addresses the Apple Fall event, the iPhone 5 mystery will finally be put to rest. Thank fucking God. Next up, filed under, my fruit is getting ripe. Windows Phone 7 announced yesterday that the Windows Phone 7.5 Mango update is expected to arrive in the next week or two. This morning, Deutsche Telekom tweeted customers they would be receiving the Mango update for Windows Phone next week. DT also went on to tweet the first devices to receive the update will be HTC handsets followed by Samsung devices. Windows Phone Blog also mentioned the Where's My Phone update would be updated soon to allow you to follow the update process worldwide and those updating would want to download and install the Windows Phone 7 connector for Mac and the Zoom software for PC if you haven't already done so. I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty excited about getting my hands on a really nice ripened piece of fruit. Next up, file under, damn, that sucks. Sprint confirmed today will be capping its mobile hotspot data for smartphones beginning October 2nd at 5 gigabytes. Currently, you can use a compatible smartphone as a mobile hotspot on Sprint and pay an extra $29.99 per month for unlimited Wi-Fi tethering. However, Sprint Playbook leak earlier this week hinted at the end of unlimited data and a cap of 5 gigabytes, which today Sprint made official. Once you reach 5 gigabytes of data, what happens is currently unclear and the data cap for smartphone tethering does not affect tablets or smartphones with unlimited data plans. Only the amount of data you download when using your smartphone as a Wi-Fi hotspot. And finally, Verizon added the Pantech breakout to their stable of 4G LTE smartphones today, allowing you to enjoy Verizon's lightning fast download speeds where available without sending you to the poor farm. The current batch of 4G LTE smartphones in Big Red are the most expensive on contract smartphones that I'm aware of anywhere. However, the new Pantech breakout takes care of business for just a C note. The breakout supports a 1 gigahertz single core processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, Android 2.3 gingerbread, 5 megapixel camera, 720p video capture, front facing shooter, 4 inch WVGA TFT display, and 1500 milliamp battery. Watch for the breakout landing on Verizon in the very near future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to tell a friend about our show. And until next time,